For this example, I'd like you to practice drawing these three main forms. Uh, again, trying to twist them, and you can follow along with what I'm drawing here, or you're welcome to draw your own versions. Uh, but just try to express some twists and different angling and orientation of those three areas like we've talked about. And this is a bit of a time lapse, so feel free to pause it, catch up if you're trying to draw the exact poses here. Uh, but again, venture past this and try your own poses. Uh, look at life, look at uh, images from your favorite movie, whatever it is, a good shot, uh, and then try to draw it in this way. So what you're doing is you're getting yourself to look through, uh, obviously, what you're seeing and just kind of pay attention to the orientation of, again, the head, the torso, and the pelvis. And by doing that, you'll start to notice that there's a lot of variation that you weren't otherwise paying attention to. Uh, some subtle, some not so subtle. Uh, but it's really in the subtleties that we start to express body language or understand body language and then therefore show it in our artwork. Uh, but at first we go for the extremes, right? The extreme tilting over, the extreme uh, staying stiff and standing upright, uh, mainly because we you know, might be trying to convey strength. And then you start to realize, well, you can convey strength with an upright pose, but then posturing the arms or certain hand gestures can mean something entirely different. And then that coupled with obviously other things like facial expressions and lighting. I mean, it just, it goes on and on. And that's really why you have to take the time to do these more primitive studies so that you can understand each element in its own right and then couple it all together. But if you just jump in and, and you start drawing complex scenes, uh, you might get it. Some people do, but it's not unheard of. But it's a lot more realistic to draw things in this way and then really get a, a better understanding of each area. Uh, and you never really stop doing that, not in my opinion. I've been studying figure drawing and life, uh, drawing people for years and years, and I still have a ton to learn. And that's part of the excitement of it. Uh, so you just keep on going and you keep learning. And because of that, you never get bored, which is amazing. Now, that being said, I understand that studies like this can oftentimes, for some of you, feel a little bit less exciting, right? Because you're not working on that next masterpiece that you that you want to see completed but that's how hard work is and that's how muscle memory and repetition works for us we have to take the time to do things like this so that that next great piece comes out that much better so it's it's making yourself aware of that and then doing your due diligence working through these not just doing the five that i provide to you here but doing 10 more, 20 more until you feel really comfortable with it to where you feel like you can do this type of stuff in your sleep. And that's when you know you're ready to move on to the next stage of your work and do better and better. Uh, and keep in mind, you don't have to refine yours as much as I'm doing here. I'm going through an extra stage of cleaning these up for you so that you have better PDF and art files to study along with. So feel free to catalog more of these with a little bit more of a loose uh, sketch style, that's fine. There's, there's no reason that you need to clean them up this tightly. So that'll complete this lesson and let's move on to the next.